everybody, welcome back to the Tech Intersect podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Tanya Evans, and today we're diving into a really unique initiative that merges technology, politics, and community action. We're joined by Will Schweitzer, executive of Sweet View Pack, to discuss their latest initiative, Crypto Rides. Now, this innovative program is helping Democratic crypto enthusiasts in New York to make their voices heard by providing Uber Ride vouchers to get them to the polls this November 5th. Crypto Rides isn't just facilitating voter turnout, it's empowering a demographic that is really passionate about the future of technology and digital finance. We will dive into how this program aims to increase participation, its broader implications, and what it tells us about the intersection of technology and civic engagement. We will talk about all of that and more in a moment, but first, Will, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to chat about all of these things. It's been a excellent, lively time right now in our politics. Oh. <laughs> Can we just pause and reflect on that? There's so much going on uh, this week in particular as we usher in October. We are a stone's throw away from the election, from November 5th. And so your project and this work could not be more timely. So uh, let's start off. Talk to us about just a bit more about the inspiration behind Crypto Rides and the specific needs that it addresses for voters in New York? Yeah. So, you know, again, I run a super PAC here in New York state uh, that's called Sweet View. And we, uh, as this collective uh, crew that came together to create this organization, you know, we are all Web3 crypto native folks. Um, and we identified, you know, ways to, as I think a lot of efforts have uh, been happening you know, over the last year and a half, obviously ramping up now with 34 days left to the presidential election. Um, you know, we've all been engaged in trying to figure out how to obviously uh, participate in the democratic experience generally. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate for civic engagement. Um, it's uh, admittedly super PACs are kind of a new route, even for me. Um, mm -hmm. But this naturally kind of arose, um, like I said, from this uh, group that came together. And uh, we jumped into, you know, 34 days, uh, you're down to the wire at the end of the cycle here. What are the real uh, things that you can be doing uh, to create an impact um, at, in an election cycle. And uh, we, we kicked the can on some good ideas. Crypto Rides emerged as this program that we uh, put together via uh, Uber and our own team of basically technologists who have been able to uh, bootstrap up a, a nice little app. Um, we have a nice uh, mechanism to be able to tell folks that they can come and claim their ride to the polls. And we can explain like what uh, crypto ride specifically is, but um, it's a prepaid ride to uh, the polls offered by our pack. Um, and we, uh, we make it publicly accessible. You can come to our website. You can basically just request a voucher. You just give us your information. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure you're a registered voter in New York State. Uh, and then we'll contact you with the prepaid voucher uh, from Uber. So it's really a, meant to be a pretty straightforward, very uh, easy to understand experience that we are uh, framing in the crypto uh, lens specifically by uh, by you know branding it uh, in crypto, we're accepting crypto uh, as a means of donation to the program, um, but also within our, our universe of folks that we want this to be offered to explicitly, we are looking to make sure we connect with, uh, we'll say, crypto voters in New York State, uh, first and foremost, and making sure that this is something that uh, they can use to get their uh, voices out specifically. So we are trying to tie into, as I said, some of these bigger efforts that have been going on for a, a while now to make sure that the crypto voice, um, you know, the Bitcoin voice, however, you know, you, you slice it up, whatever your flavor is, uh, we don't, you know, we don't discriminate on what, you know, L1 you prefer. Um, if you're in the space, if you're excited about, um, you know, basically uh, voicing your, your vote along this line, 
we have a program that can help you get to the poll. So it's meant to be something that just makes it a, an easy opportunity to make sure you go out and vote um, and that your voice is heard. You know, when I think about the presidential cycle of elections and and the statement I'm about to make uh, applies across the board, but in particular this year with razor thin uh, margins, if the polls are any indication uh, as we draw closer and more and more people are paying attention, you and I both know about the statistics, uh, particularly in swing states for uh, voters who are pro crypto. Uh, whatever again, as as you mentioned, the the you know there are thousands of different types of cryptographically secured digital assets. Uh, but you know we have a very large tent uh, under which there are people, both crypto native and outside of our industry bubble, who really care uh, not only about access to uh, crypto assets, to decentralized finance, to distributed ledger technology, uh, but also that their uh, Congress uh, members are uh, well-versed, that the next president of the United States is also committed. And we know both of the can candidates have uh, uh, thrown their support behind uh, crypto in general. I say all that to say that when uh, margins are so thin, thousands of votes can make a difference. Yeah. And because uh, crypto is top of mind for uh, for voters, particularly in swing states, the turnout is so incredibly important. So talk to me about why, you know, that I'm sure was the precursor to saying, how can we get as many people to the polls as possible and, and really weigh in on how, how close this election up and down the ballot will be and why uh, turnout matters. Yeah, again, back to me kind of being a, a, a civil uh, engagement advocate, you know, long before uh, any of this even. Um, you know, I started on Obama's 2008 campaign as, a, as an organizer at my college campus. Um, and just me being a, uh, you know, somebody who's been engaged in campaigns and politics for a very long time since then, um, I certainly understand the impact of anything around GOTV you know, get out the vote efforts. Um, they are extremely important at the end of a cycle. Um, obviously, it's kind of it's it's almost like that last mile problem. And now we've got this ride program, which is I think is a good analogy. Mm -hmm. here. It's like you know, Amazon has that last mile problem of delivering the package, and it's basically that, right? Like everybody can do all this advocacy work, uh, get folks, you know, to see the ads, to hear the messaging, but at the end of the day, you need a, basically. A delivery tool uh, that will help get uh, voters to the polling sites so they vote. I think that categorically, this is something, you know, regardless of the politics or the partisanism uh, of any, give, any given election cycle, for those of, those of us who are democracy advocates, uh, we know that higher voter engagement is key to just ensuring that we have, uh, you know, a, an outcome that is representative of is truly representative of uh, the people's voice, right? So any efforts that generally get folks to the polls, you see this uh, really be a nonpartisan, you know, effort, no matter how it cuts, right? Like people generally advocate for GOTV as a really good thing, obviously, or maybe not obviously, but uh, sweet view in the way that we've rolled out crypto rides in New York, we are, we have taken the democratic line within ourselves as a super PAC. So mm -hmm. we are specifically focused on turning out the democratic crypto vote through sweet view um, via this, this ride program, right? So um, we're hopeful and, you know, we know about, um, there's a handful of, you know, um, congressional seats um, that are, you know, top of mind in New York State. Um, mm -hmm. We hedge that. We actually operate at the state level um, here as a sweet as sweet view, a New York State super PAC. So we uh, map our impact into uh, state level races, um, state level turnout. Um, this all kind of you know, one voter goes and they vote for you know you pull the lever on the whole ticket, right? So mm -hmm. uh, generally, we are hoping to, in New York with Sweet View, um, we're hoping to really bolster the opportunity again for folks who just maybe need that extra little nudge, or if it's enough to get somebody who 
you know, who again we know has received the message, we know is likely or known to be, uh, you know, the type of uh, voter that we're we're trying to support. We want to again make it very easy for them uh, to do that that last piece, right? To just get right. up and go to the poll uh, with with the way Crypto Rides is set up. It's as simple as you you know you give us your email address and. We send you the voucher code, right? And you go on your Uber app and, you know, you enter in that discount code at the end and and there's your ride, right? So um, hopefully that's enough of another little nudge, like I said, at the end uh, that lets folks really, you know, get up for turnout. To your point, every vote does matter. It is, mm -hmm. it is uh, on the one hand, I think for us political scientists uh, types, it's a little hard to grapple with how gerrymandered the country has essentially become into mm -hmm. this kind of 50 50 split um you know the popular vote has gone to the democrats significantly over the last uh handful of certainly national elections um mm -hmm. but we we still you know get into the electoral college you get into the swing districts and the swing states and you really have seen in american politics um a a real embracing of like micro targeting, being mm -hmm. able to really leverage digital signals, um, other ways to engage with voters, all the way down to you know that you know neighbor to neighbor type of contact where you're looking for uh, folks to essentially that like go knock on your neighbor's door and ask them like, hey, did you go out and vote today? Like, did you know the election's coming? You know, if you've ever done any <laughs> of that? Heard this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you've ever done. Uh, the 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 dialing um you know where you're you're calling yeah, voters, you're the asking, phone banks yeah. yeah the phone banking just to do voter awareness right just mm -hmm. not advocating for a candidate even you're just educating people like guess what november 5th that's the day if you didn't know you know that's the day and you call folks back and um it's one of the things that i get so it's probably super nerdy um or let's go i'm, I'm going into, in the rabbit hole with you let's go yeah i mean it's one of the things that through all the experiences um, that I've had in politics, I always, I do get, I feel it right now, I do get very excited when it comes yeah. down to like the person to person uh, outreach. And I've had many campaigns where you're on the phone and you're, you know, you're talking to just anybody, right? I mean, <laughs> when you're on the campaign side, you're given a list and you're, you're calling and you're, you're receiving, you know, whatever's on the other end of that uh, phone call. Um, right. But, <laughs> it's a really, it's a really um, enlightening, I think, uh, experience. It's a really, uh, it's a really powerful part of, I think, the American democratic uh, process is how we, we do so much of this uh, at the grassroots level that it mm -hmm. has materialized into, again, back to maybe it's frustrating that it's, you know, a 50 50 split, but it does make every vote really matter, um, you know, at different levels and spaces. So we're yeah. excited about the impact here. Just call me. And no worries. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. How are we going to? Ooh. See, this is why I'm not married still, because I didn't take the call. If only I had taken the call. <laughs> yeah. Well, our, our son is unfortunately sick. Um, oh, no. So, so I have to try to wrap with you, unfortunately. Oh, yes. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let me see. Can maybe uh, do like 10 more minutes. And oh, then no, I'll... that's more than fine. We will talk about the demographics. Sure. And just keep your, if you keep, keep, keep it tight to a uh, quick thing about the demographics, any challenges and how people can get in touch with you. Um, and I'll drop those things in the show notes. Okay, cool. All right. So that's really uh, fantastic. And you focus on this, this big push to get out the vote. It might interest um, uh, viewers and listeners about uh, just the demographics of the crypto voter base. Um, and, you know, we can, I think, extrapolate by analogy from New York, but we have such a great melting pot there in New York. What do the demographics look like for the crypto voter base? Yeah, we have been pulling on um, a lot of the research that, again, other folks in the space have been putting out, um, you know, from the industry, I guess, to kind of identify that crypto voter. Um, so we see, you know, a significant portion of crypto voters, um, basically in the diverse communities that exist across New York State, right? Like the Black African American communities, the Hispanic communities, the Asian, Asian Pacific Island communities, um, 
you know, all are robustly represented in right. New York, uh, certainly in New York City, uh, which is cool and is a vibrant place where Uber, you know, uh, work, works and is available. So um, we do see that this uh, program will be affecting and impacting, you know, there's a good overlap, essentially, right? Like there's a lot of um, opportunity to help communities that have historically been either suppressed, mm -hmm. you know, directly via the vote um, and or not given the opportunities that others would. So crypto, again, that big tent that you mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. And that we are uh, outside of these types of uh, divides uh, in the way that we approach our communities. Mm -hmm. That's one of the amazing parts, I'm sure you know, of being involved in crypto is how diverse the community of builders and entrepreneurs and people who are behind the scenes actually, you know, making all this go really mm -hmm. is. Um, we're excited about that being represented in how we get the vouchers out again to communities where it matters, uh, you know, uh, any given cycle, right? So right. it's a good overlap that we, that we look forward to, again, like just lifting the vote big picture, let alone that also coinciding with it being the crypto vote. Yeah, for sure. The, uh, any challenges that you're coming up against in rolling out the initiative? How, how what are they and how have you uh, overcome them? Um, we have just gotten started kind of with this. It's a, it's um, not too many challenges at the moment. We have uh, 34 days, you know, <laughs> um, again, we appreciate, you know, being on the call with you to help get the message out about this. So that's right. really, I guess, what it will come down to. Um, the rides are redeemable on November 5th here in New York state. So you have a month essentially to hear about this and to, you know, to figure out um, how to come to our site, which is just sweetview.org, S-U-I-T-E-V-I-E-W.org. Um, and from there you can, you know, put, like I said, you can uh, just give us your info, request a voucher and we'll get back to you with it. So. Outstanding. Well, this will get out the message to get out the vote. Uh, and um, thank you so much, Will, for your time and your attention. We will share all of the contact information and also your recent press release in the show notes. And um, we look forward to being a, a great partner with you in, in amplifying. This is really, really important. This is a critical uh, election and getting out the vote is critically important. So thanks again, Will.